productivity is not a dirty word. Yes, do not adjust your set. I did say the P word productivity and I'm saying productivity can be a useful concept for product development, software development teams and to track on your agile transformation. So what on earth am I talking about? Well, stick around, I'll explain everything. Welcome back folks, Kareem Harbert here, talking all things business agility and innovation. Now as ever, please feel free to subscribe and if you think the video is valuable, please give it a like, a thumbs up, and I always enjoy your comments, so let me know what you think down there. There's also a bunch of links in the, the comments section, in the description section, so uh, check those out if any of this is of interest to you. So productivity. Why am I talking about this word that seems to stem from the Industrial Revolution when we were making widgets on a production line? And what on earth has that got to do with agility, business agility, innovation, product development teams? Well, you often hear the word and many agilists, many agile coaches will dislike the word. They think it's unhelpful, they think it drives bad behaviours, and it can do. I happen to think that the, the concept of productivity is a sound one. But there are some differences between how productivity works for product development teams, for innovation teams, design thinking teams, software development teams, and how it worked back in the Industrial Revolution 120 years ago. We need to make two key tweaks to how we use it and how we define it. And when we do that, I actually think it's an incredibly valuable thing to think about. So what are those two things? Well, the first thing is that back in the day, uh, outputs was a, uh, a, a reasonable proxy for effectiveness. The more widgets you created, the more effective you were. So outputs were a great uh, proxy for that. Uh, and as such, productivity was defined as outputs per input unit over time. I made this many widgets in an hour and somebody made more widgets in an hour, they were more productive. Their productivity was higher. Now, of course, you can churn out feature after feature after feature and be a feature factory as a software development team or, or whatever it is you're doing, and they can be of no value at all. So it's very, very different. Output and quantity and, dare I say, velocity are a terrible, they're all terrible proxies for effectiveness. So don't do it like that. Okay, what we actually need to look at is value and outcomes to your customer. Because one team can deliver 100 features and add no value at all because they're all useless features. One team can deliver five features and they can see your revenue skyrockets because they are absolute killer features. So who's more productive there? 100 features in, in three months or five features in three months that boost your revenue and boost your profitability and your conversion. Well, I'll take the latter, thank you very much. So what we need to focus on is, is not outputs per input unit over time, it's value delivered or outcomes achieved per input unit over time. So it's, it looks very, very different and we measure very, very different things. Now, of course, value is different to every organization and every team and every product. So you need to carefully define value, but broadly, value is good stuff that we want more of, not a proxy because proxies tend to become the thing over time. Jeff Bezos told us that. So that's the first point that needs to change. We need to go from outputs to outcomes and value. The second thing is that back in the Industrial Revolution, on the production line, Henry Ford making Model Ts, well, I imagine he didn't make them himself, but his people making Model Ts on the production line, it was all about individual productivity. How much did you do? And you'll see this, HR policies are all about individual performance, individual productivity. Well, guess what? When you're innovating, whether it's trying to understand the customer, doing discovery, design thinking, software development, product development, or any of these things that deliver value, it is no longer an individual sport. It's not about me. It's a team sport. It's about us. How effectively do we deliver value? It's a collaborative game. So your productivity metrics need to be team-based, not individual-based. I wrote this many lines of code, who cares? 
I found this many defects, aren't I a great tester? Well, actually no, because you should have prevented them, right? Uh, by collaborating with your team. So I'm not interested in your individual productivity. I'm interested in how well you collaborate and cooperate with your team to deliver value to your customers. So the second key point is the fundamental building block of an organization is now the team. So if you are going to measure productivity, you do it at team level and you do it based on outcomes and values. Value delivered to your customers. So what we have here is productivity really being how much value do you as a team deliver to your customer over time? And if you frame it like that, there is nothing wrong with the word productivity at all. In fact, we need to seek to maximize that as a team. And of course, we're continually improving as a team, but as leaders in the organization, how can we fix the organization to allow this team to deliver more value over that time period with the same effort? And that could be with fewer outputs, fewer features delivered, more value delivered. Right? If you're doing the right things, if you're doing great discovery, and if you're, if you're inspecting and adapting and being agile as teams, that's what it's all about. So I urge you not to throw the baby out with the bathwater. I urge you to focus on productivity in those, uh, it, with those tweaks around them. Um, and I think this is a, an incredibly valuable thing to optimize for in your organization. And remember, teams are only as good as the system in which they operate. So if your teams aren't delivering value, if your teams aren't massively productive, then you need to change the system in which they operate. I recorded a video about why uh, your, your teams aren't delivering. You can go and check that out. There's a link somewhere up there. Uh, click on that um, and, uh, and we'll look at how you create the environment for great teams to deliver great value. But here we're focusing on productivity. So I hope you now don't see the P word as a dirty word. Maybe you can use it with leaders and help to educate what productivity looks like in, uh, in the 21st century of, in terms of value delivery for your customer. And we can reframe the word. So I hope that was useful to you. Please feel free to like and to subscribe. Let me know what you think of uh, the new definition of productivity in the comments. What did I miss? Uh, what do you disagree with? What do you agree with? Any of the above. I'm a big boy, I can take it. So I will see you next time, ladies and gents. Uh, please stick around. I'm going to try to up my throughput rate uh, with, these, uh, with these videos, uh, assuming of course they are valuable uh, and I will become more productive myself. There, that is my, uh, my, my resolution from today. So uh, um, I, I hope to see you again very soon. In the meantime, stay curious and I'll see you next time.